As is known to all, Huawei, has been turned from an ordinary domestic Chinese brand to a technology giant renowned all over the world, largely due to their continuous innovation in products and research. Technological innovation and upgrading are naturally inseparable from talents. This is the major reason why, Huawei, has been seeking talents to join it. Recently, in order to achieve technological innovation, Huawei has attracted another top global mathematician, French mathematician Laurent Laforge. It is hard to believe that the Chinese company has the capacity to attract so many global leading talents, many people may not know that France is a place where mathematicians gather, and Huawei has opened six R&D centers in France with two mathematical research centers alone, namely, the Mathematical Research Center in Boulogne, which opened in 2016, and the Lagrange Mathematical Computing Center, which will be unveiled in Paris in 2020, the latter of which attracts outstanding scholars to participate in research and cultivates young researchers by means of an open mechanism with three fields medal winners three fields prize winners are involved in the center, Laforgue, who joined Huawei's Paris Institute, said in a video, joining Huawei is a new world of discovery for me. Basic research exploration is part of Huawei's long-term vision. Many people at Huawei think in terms of 10 or 20 years, in fact, in the history of Huawei's development and transcendence, there are three legendary genius scientists who have played a key role in breaking new ground. Alessio Figali, Maxim Kontsevich and Zheng Baoyong. To a large extent, Huawei can obtain such achievements because it is good at discovering and reusing talents. In order to attract elites from all walks of life, Huawei's founder Ren Zhengfei did not hesitate to spend huge sums of money to launch the Genius Youth activity. Interviewers need to go through seven interview sessions before they can become Huawei's genius teenagers. Ren Zhengfei has set three different wage standards for talented teenagers, the highest can reach 2.01 million per person per year, and the lowest can reach 896,000. So far, Huawei has recruited 17 talented teenagers, five of whom have an annual salary of 2.01 million. Of course, the activity is ongoing every year, and Huawei will attract more talented teenagers in the future. What we are going to talk about today is Laforge, the French guy. Who is he and why Huawei eventually chose to hire him? What can he bring to the Chinese company? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's take a look at the topic we are going to talk about today. Laurent Laforge, who just joined Huawei, is a math genius. Born in 1966, he won a silver medal in the International Mathematical Olympiad at the age of 18. His most astonishing achievement was winning the Fields Medal in Mathematics, the highest level of award in the mathematics world, at the age of 35 for his outstanding contributions to number theory and algebraic geometry. It is reported that as early as 2017, Laforge had contact with the Huawei research team. At that time, Huawei funded a topological research project, and Laforge personally attended the project lecture at the University of Saclay in Paris. In 2020, the University of Paris Saclay formally finalized a partnership with Huawei and established a talent plan, aiming to provide 6 million euros in the next 10 years and plan to fund seven talents every year. Even if Laforge resigned from the University of Paris Saclay, the cooperation was still counted. Laforge himself stated that he is very honored to join the Huawei team to conduct topological research. After learning the news, Chinese netizens left comments and liked them. Not only did they welcome Laforge to join, they also expressed their confidence in Huawei's future development. What makes people even more pleasantly surprised is that Huawei's self-improvement will never stop. Ren Zhengfei said that Huawei will continue to improve the talent recruitment mechanism and hope to see more talents from European and American countries join. With the addition of fresh blood, Huawei can run in and communicate with internal talents, which can achieve a multiplier effect with half the effort. 
Moreover, Huawei has a financial background, and the salary is higher than that of many countries, so it is no wonder that it can attract those foreign talents. It is reported that many highly educated talents in Japan choose to develop in China because of their high domestic competition and not many good jobs. Moreover, the treatment provided by the government and enterprises is not as good as in China, and the promotion space is not as good as in our country, so they hope to be able to develop in China for a long time after joining Huawei, LaForge. Still continues with his research and keep on studying the topos theory, which was introduced into mathematics 60 years ago. The topic theory is similar to the Langlands program, and both are considered to serve as a bridge between different mathematical theories. Once a breakthrough is made, it will not only advance the process of mathematical research, but may also serve as a theoretical basis for opening up new horizons in fields such as communication theory and artificial intelligence. Why does Huawei recruit so many top mathematicians? Many people may have this question. In fact, mathematics is a basic subject, and it is also known as the universal language of the universe, and many fields are based on mathematical theory as the basis for development. Ren Zhengfei once said that research in high and new technologies requires not only investment, but also human resources, mathematicians, physicists, and chemists. He also said that if the country wants to be more powerful, mathematics is the foundation. It is clear that Huawei attaches great importance to mathematicians. What's more, it is worth mentioning that Huawei is also extremely crazy for the construction of a mathematics research center. As early as 1999, Huawei set up a mathematics research center in Russia. Subsequently, Huawei opened six research institutes in France, two of which were related to mathematical research. After all, France is a gathering place for many mathematicians, nowadays, the world's top talents gather at Huawei. So far, Huawei has 16 R&D centers, 28 joint innovation centers and 2012 laboratories around the world, with 700 mathematicians, more than 800 physicists, more than 120 chemists, 6,000 to 7,000 basic research experts, and various senior engineers, Ren Zhengfei said. We have more than 15,000 scientists and experts in basic research, who turn money into knowledge, and we also have more than 60,000 applied talents who develop products and turn knowledge into money Huawei's rapid development over. The years has successfully attracted international attention. The United States, which has always been jealous of China, united its allies to suppress Huawei's development. First, it boycotted Huawei's 5G on the grounds of so-called security. Then it launched chip sanctions to cut off China's supply chain for obtaining chips. Under the heavy influence of the United States, Huawei did feel the pressure at first, but it quickly turned the pressure into motivation. The United States and its allies have banned Huawei's 5G, but it does not mean that all countries in the world will accompany them. Huawei has already received a large number of global 5G orders. On the other hand, the US government boycotts Huawei, but the American people do not approve of this approach, because when the country does not have this technology, blindly suppressing the technology of other countries will only end up falling behind. By then, most countries will popularize 5G, but the United States and its allies do not. People in these countries will definitely get angry so that the suppression of the U.S. is bound to fail. And maybe this is the real reason why the world's top mathematicians and first-class talents choose Huawei. It is also the key to Huawei's core competitiveness and global leadership. Do you agree with me? Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.